Start with a right triangle with legs of length A and B and a hypotenuse of length C. The square drawn using the side of length A has an area of A squared. Similarly, the square drawn using the side of length B has an area of B squared. And finally, the square drawn using the hypotenuse of length C has an area of C squared. Then add two more copies of the right triangle, one reflected about the angle between the legs, and one rotated and shifted to the bottom of the square off of the hypotenuse. Next, we draw two lines of symmetry separating two hexagons inside of the diagram, like this. We use the new regions as follows. This top quadrilateral is congruent to its reflection along the first line of symmetry. The resulting quadrilateral is congruent to its rotation of 90 degrees clockwise about the left triangle vertex, and this quadrilateral is congruent by 180 degree rotation to the other half of the second hexagon cut by the second line of symmetry. Therefore, the two overlapping hexagons in the diagram are both built from two copies of the same quadrilateral. That means that these two hexagons thus enclose the exact same area. But notice that both of these hexagons use two copies of the original right triangle. So removing those triangles from both diagrams shows that the large square encloses the exact same area as the two smaller squares, which means that C squared is the same as A squared plus B squared. Remembering that A and B are the lengths of two legs of a right triangle with hypotenuse of length C, we have shown that for such a right triangle, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. This is the Pythagorean theorem as proved by da Vinci.